Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Home Style Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today I'm going to show you a recipe which is, you know, similar. They make it in Rajasthan, but this I'm just making a little bit variation and making it. This is nothing but coriander steamed cakes. So let's start how to make this. First, we need a pan. And in this, we are going to add some oil. You can add two or three spoons of oil. In this oil, we are going to add some cashew nuts and also some chana dal. And we are going to switch off the flame. We are not going to cook this. With this heat itself, we are going to just roast it. And some poppy seeds. One, one teaspoon of all these ingredients. Mind you, I switched off the flame. With this heat itself, I'm just roasting this. And in this, some garam masala for nice spiciness green chilies and some grated coconut and now here I have some peanuts these are you know roasted peanuts this peanuts we are going to crush it little bit and then we are going to add into this so in this string chick I'm just going to crush this friends here you can see I have nicely crushed the peanuts see coarsely I don't want too fine just coarsely this we are going to add it into a bowl now in this bowl we are going to add the Slightly roasted coconuts, you know, chana dal, green chilies, cashew nuts, all this mixture. This is coriander steam cake, so lot of coriander. If you are taking two cups of coriander, then you need to take one cup of chickpea flour and one cup of rice flour. So today I am taking one cup of coriander, so I am using half a cup of chickpea flour. So here is the chickpea flour, half a cup and also half a cup of rice flour and this we are going to nicely mix it and also some salt very little not too much and that's it and this how we are going to steam it there is no moisture so now we are going to add some moisture you can add some water or even curd also I am adding some water very little first we are going to check and then we are going to add some more I think I can add some more so friends here you can see I added little bit water and we got a nice moisture that's it and this mixture what we are going to do is we are going to steam this so you can just take a small plate wherein you can steam it so here I have a cake tin what I did is I have applied little bit of oil in this we are going to put this mixture and spread it nicely I grease the tray so that you know once you steam this you can remove this easily and that's it you can use any steamer, idli cooker or even pressure cooker. But if you are using a pressure cooker, you should not put the whistle on. So that's it. And this, we are going to put it in our steamer and steam it for 15 to 20 minutes till this is done. So dear friends, after 20 minutes, I have steamed this nicely. You can see the coriander steamed cakes are ready. What we are going to do is now we are going to remove this and this we need to rest it and then we are going to nicely cut it into small pieces and again toss it in little bit oil just take a chopping board because we applied oil this will come easily now you can see this is ready once you demold it just cut it into pieces this is hot just let it rest then you can cut it easily here you see nice steamed cakes isn't it nice and healthy sometimes you can have it if you don't want to add tempering also you can skip it you can have this with nice curd or even meaty chutney or green chutney so i'm going to cut all of these and then we are going to saute it little bit so friends once your pan is hot just add little bit oil mustard seeds and also some cumin seeds put your cakes in this steamed coriander cakes in the oil Instead of idlis, you know, sometimes you can make this and just sprinkle a little bit of chilli powder. Just toss it and that's it. Our excellent coriander steam cake is ready. You know, this type of dish, you can serve it when you have parties or even evening snacks. You can have this. This goes excellent. So that's it. Switch off the flame and the dish is ready. I can just take one fork. I already tasted in between peanuts, cashew nuts and we added some chana dal. So all these are coming and this is very, very excellent. And nice and soft. You need to try this friends. This is very, very simple to make it. You have seen it, no? Very simple to make it. 
kids will love this i hope you enjoyed this very very simple dish see you in another dish with some more recipes that too home style do share it with your friends and also make fresh food for your families